Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode eight of Queen Song Reviews. So the eighth track on the 1973 self-titled debut album Queen is Son and Daughter, written by Brian May. When it comes to this song, the band played it live, starting at the very beginning, the very first concert under the name Queen in 1970, they played this song, Son and Daughter, and they played it throughout the 70s up until 1976. And the song was also important live because it would include Brian May's extended guitar solo, uh, which he would call Bright and Rock guitar solo. And he would be doing this extended guitar solo even before the song that would come on the third album in 1974 called Bright and Rock. Uh, so when it comes to the lyrics in the song, uh, it's a little bit difficult to decipher, and there hasn't been anything from Brian in regards to the song with the lyrics, but I think it has to do with genders of men and women, and with society, and uh, what they expect as far as a man to be, and what, uh, you know, a woman to be. So in the beginning of the song, you hear the great vocal harmonies with all three band members where they're like, And it's uh, to be a woman. I want you to be a woman. So I think it's basically saying with a woman, uh, so she tries to be like a son and a daughter rolled into one and that she feels she could equal any man uh, for having her fun and doing uh, what she wants. Uh, but I think Brian's sort of saying with the woman that he would just like her to be a woman instead of trying to do some of the things that, you know, maybe a man is maybe more known to do. And then he also talks about with a man that when it comes to society, they expect a man to go on and uh, shovel shit. So this has a curse word uh, in the Queen song, says the first time we hear that. So I think that's what it has to do with like gender roles and what's expected of a man or a woman or a woman trying to do some of the things that society expects, you know, a man to do. And he would just like her to uh, be a woman. Uh, so as far as the song, it's a down and dirty riff. Uh, it's like a fuzz sound with the guitar, really heavy, cool riff, uh, very Black Sabbath style. Uh, the main riff is like, you could imagine Black Sabbath doing this song and Tony Iommi coming up with this riff and maybe Ozzy Osbourne singing it. Uh, so it does, definitely has a Black Sabbath vibe. Uh, there's no guitar solo in this one. There's just uh, some high guitar notes that Brian May does to once again add, you know, atmosphere and color and to create an environment uh, for this song. So like I said, you know, great riff. Uh, the riff uh, as far as the verses is like dun, 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 dun. Uh, but that's mainly the song. Uh, like I said, it's a cool riff, but there's not much else to it besides the riff of the Black Sabbath kind of sound and then the chorus with the I want you to be a woman. Um, so if I had to rate this song, Son and Daughter, from a 1 to 10, I would say it's probably a 7.5 or an 8, somewhere along those lines where it's all right, uh, but it's a little bit too standard compared to some of the other tracks. There's other tracks on this debut album you know, that I like more. Uh, so we'll be generous and we'll give it an 8 out of 10 for Son and Daughter. So we're going to go on to the next episode, which is episode 9, and the next track uh, for uh, the Queen debut album for Queen Song Reviews, we're going to talk about Jesus. And that was written by Freddie Mercury. So we'll see you soon and see you then.